In this section of the video, we are going to explain the procedure for applying a VLAN translation on a data service. For the example, we are considering a CVLAN 1014 that we will be translating to VLAN 218. We are considering below a following network architecture. So we can see here there is a PPPoE server and then we have the OLT with the uplink SNI and PON port and then we have the ONT and we have a client PC or a client device. Here coming in the upstream direction we can visualize the PC is generating an untracked traffic. This untracked traffic is entering into the ONT Ethernet port or the Wi-Fi antenna. Inside the ONT we are having a CVLAN configuration 1014 and when the traffic is coming out of the ONU to the PON port, it's coming over a VIP, VIP connection. It comes along with the CVLAN 1014 and enters the PON port. And on the PON port, we are translating the VLAN 1014 into VLAN 218. And this VLAN 218 is aggressed or pushed out of the SNI Ethernet port. The traffic moves with the VLAN 218 up to the PPPoE server. So the PPPoE server receives the traffic with VLAN 218 and the authentication takes place after that. Now to implement this VLAN translation mechanism into the OLT, the following two steps are to be performed. So in step number one, we perform the VLAN 1014 configuration on the GPON side. So we have to create a service profile with CVLAN 1014 and we'll have to create a GPON connection with VLAN 1014. Step number two, we perform the activity on the L2 SNA side. Here we perform the VLAN translation on 1014 to, uh, to uh, VLAN 218 using the flow point template and the VLAN translation flow point template we apply it on the BPATH port or the PON port. Next we have one more template with the CVLAN 218 and this is applied on the uplink ETH SNA. So these two steps are required to implement the VLAN translation for example taken up here. Now let us straight away log in to the OLT. So we open the OLT and we log in with this username and password. We log into the OLT and this is the home page of the OLT. On the left side, we have several folders. Step number one will execute that is the GPON service profile and connection. So I have to create a new profile. For simplicity, I have already created a profile with VLAN. 1014. You can see here I have created a profile VLAN 1014 with service type VIP and input OAT is a single tag with assured bandwidth 10 Mbps and maximum bandwidth 1 Gbps and the outer VLAN ID here is the 1014 which is nothing but the CVLAN. When we say single tag inside the ONU we have to configure the VLAN 1014 in the WAN interface. When we say untag, it means no VLAN need to be configured inside the ONU WAN. So next, we will go ahead and create the connection. So this profile exists, we have to create a connection. We close the profile window, we go here, create a new connection. I am going to create a data service VLAN 014. Service type is VIP, then PON port number 2 and OAT number 1. Service profile is VLAN 1014. Automatically, the other windows are populated. Before I click on submit or even create a connection, let me verify the status of my ONU. It is important to verify that the ONU is activated. So, you can see the is activated and the optical power 
is within the recommended limits. We can obtain the latest optical power by clicking the refresh button and we can go back here and see that this is the optical power within the recommended limit. So we go back to this connection window and we create a connection. Click submit. Click on yes. So we wait for a few seconds for the software to write into the hardware. We see here that the connection is successfully created. We go back to this connection window, we close this, we can click on view all connections, filter on this OAT. We can see that the service has successfully created its CVLAN 1014 and it's created on this date and time. Next, we have to carry out the step number two. Now, we'll proceed to the step number two activities. We open the OLT. You can see here on the left side we have the L2 services folder. We click on this folder and we go to services provisioning and we go to the flow point templates. Here we have to create a new flow point template. We see here an option enable VLAN translation. We have to apply a tick mark on that and we give a name. I'm giving a name 10142218. Then flow point template is CVLAN. And here I see a box. Here we need to type the VLAN number 1014. So this is the VLAN which is entering into the port, or this is the VLAN received by a port. And here the activity to perform on the VLAN. So swap. Both ingress and egress we swap and we enter the new VLAN. So this means that the VLAN which is entering the port, uh, the port is expecting the VLAN 1014 as the input and it is translating that VLAN into 218 without altering the traffic. Click on create. We create a, a simple flow point template for the CVLAN 218. CVLAN 218. Click on create. So now we see that the flow point templates have been created. 1014 is the VLAN translation template. We click on this, we can see that there is a swap action on this VLAN template. And we also created a simple VLAN template. So this is a simple VLAN template where there is no swap action. Now we need to apply these templates into the service. So we create a service, VLAN services and click on add new service. So I am creating a service by this name. So I have created a service. So I go into the service and I have to add the flow points. Click on add new flow point. The flow point template is, we can see here, the type is dot one q type a data type of traffic, which is the type of interface. So the interface is con number two. We can see, I'll go back to my diagram. So I have completed this earlier. Now I'm working on this portion. So con number two is nothing but BPATH202. Con six will be 206. So 202 on this, I want to apply the translation template. Go down here and we can see this is the template. The VLAN translation template is applied here. The remaining settings are default. We click on create. Yes. Now we go back into the service. Verify that the flow point is added. Next, we need to add this portion of the service, the SNI port on which we'll have to pass the VLAN 218 so that the VLAN 218 is egress type. Click on add new flow point. So these are the settings and here choose the interface number one. So this is my uplink port. Then at one here, apply the VLAN 218. Remaining settings are default. Click on create. 
Now I can go back and verify my service. Here we can see inside my service, two ports are successfully added. So the PON port with the VLAN translation template and the SNA port with a normal CVLAN template. Next, I need to verify the service. So is my service complete? No, because I need to push the or I need to create a WAN service for this ONT and I will also have to apply the Wi-Fi parameters so that the PC over here can get the access to this ONT. Now we create the ONT WAN. Let's say we have the folder G pawn and we have this option here ONT WAN configuration. So there are no vans currently configured in this particular node OLT. I am going to create a van. So I am going to queue a service for 1014 VLAN giving a name. The OLT card number 1. This is a PISA box OLT. So it is a card number 1. If it is a multi slot chassis, you will have to choose the corresponding card. Then pawn port number. So the pawn port number is 2. And here this is the ONT on which I want to create the van. ONT name testing ONT. So van enable. I want PPPOE. And then the VLAN ID. The VLAN ID 1014. And then the priority bit 0. The TP ID is by default to be kept 0x8100. And the multiple ports which need to be bound. We click with the mouse and we use the shift key on the keyboard and select all the ports. I want all the ports to receive this service. DHCP enable and here the PPPOE username and password, the authentication username password. So for the example service, I'm going to use this particular credentials. So I use this one. Next, I enter the password. I'm entering the password. I can keep my firewall disabled. Submit. So I'm just creating a van. This van has been pushed from the OLT into the ONU. We don't need to visit the ONU site to create the van. Next, I need to create the Wi Fi credentials. You can see here this is the ONT. Inside this ONT, I have already created the Wi-Fi credentials here. You can see here for the 2.4G and for the 5G, I have created the username and password. Password has to be 8 or more characters, cannot be less. Now, let us verify whether the traffic is working. So, we again open the L2 services window, go to services provisioning, ELAN services search our service so this is a service name tab here we have a option called unicast fdp entries in this link we can verify whether the mac addresses of the end devices are learned so now here we can see this MAC address is appearing on the PON port. So this is the ONU WAN MAC address. And this MAC address is received on the uplink port. So this is the uplink router's MAC address. Both the end devices, we are able to see the MAC learning, which indicates that the connection is successfully created. We can also verify the performance counters. Click on this. Here, we can see that the packets are increasing. Refresh the screen. We can see that the packets are increasing. The TX is the packets going out of the Ethernet port towards the uplink. And RX is the packets coming into the Ethernet port from the uplink. So now, we see that the service is successfully working. So now let us also verify by logging into the ONU. So we log in to the ONU here. Here I log into the ONU. 
So click on device info, go to pawn info. This is the ONU serial number on which I am working on. And you can see this is the optical power. Let me go to van info. I can see here the van has got successfully created and it shows connected and it shows an IP address also. You can see the van is successfully connected with an IP address. Let us verify here. We can see in the Wi Fi, I am able to connect to the this particular value. So let's do a internet speed. So we can see that my internet is working fine. You can see a huge movement of packets. You can see here there is a huge movement of packets. We have, we have been able to successfully deploy a service containing a VLAN translation.